So I have a question. How do you feel about scalpers? Think about that for a second, because we're going to have ourselves a little bit of story time or drunken prime. So my wife went to meet some of her friends for lunch and I was like, you know what? I'll drop you off. We're going to go on. A, I'm going to go on a hunt while you're doing your lunch thing. And then as we're driving, I realized something. We were driving downtown. Now, this is the one time I can actually say that the news is 100% accurate because everything that you saw on TV or see on TV about downtown and major cities, that shit is all true. That shit's all true. Like literally, all you see downtown is homeless people, meth addicts, and mostly peaceful protesters. So after I dropped her off, I realized um, I was unprepared for this, for this scenario. So I was like, okay, I have two options here. I could sit by the bar and wait for her to finish her lunch and probably be drunk out of my mind, which was a feasible option. But, or option number two, I could still go through with the hunt. I could still go through with the hunt. So I said, the hell with it. I'm going through with the hunt. But you see, your boy drunk and prime, I was ill prepared for this hunt because usually when I go downtown, I have to carry some items. I usually carry a bulletproof vest, nunchucks, and bear mace. Reason being, I don't want to get shot. I don't want to shoot anybody even though that doesn't work on meth addicts because you shoot a meth addict about 15 or 20 times and them fools will still keep coming at you, man. I mean, I've seen meth addicts get beat up by five dudes with, with, with baseball bats and then stand up and ask for more. Like, so I don't know what that's going to do. But the bear mace, the bear mace seems to be the real factor in uh, stopping the, the, the meth addicts. So just remember that. Keep that in mind. And the nunchucks is just to like hit them in the knee to slow them down because you hit them in the head, it doesn't affect them. They're high. So, what, what, what's that going to do? You literally can cut their head off and they're still coming after you. But yeah, decided to roll the dice downtown Walmart. I was like, it's right there. I'm just going to run in, I'm gonna film a little bit of footage. I got my, I got my, 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 my Sonic the Hedgehog red <laughs> sneakers on. Just in case I need to make a break for it, man. Just in case. Just in case I need to take it to that level. But yeah, as I'm cruising along, I meet I meet this dude in the uh in the aisle. And he has like this big old cart full of to like just toys, like and figs, man. I mean hot, he had everything. He had Transformers, Hot Wheels, some of those uh WWE figures, uh, a couple of He-Man figures. And I was like, man, that's a lot of stuff in your car, man, man. You, you, you must be like a super collector or something like that. And old boy looks me dead in the eyes and says, nah, man, I just go online and sell this stuff for a profit, man. And I was like, whoa, 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 wait, what? Turns out, as I talked to this guy, like it was, it was a very intriguing, like seven or eight minute conversation. Oh boy, homeless lives in his car has a trunk full of figs posts them online and sells them for exorbitant amounts of money like way over what the fig cost so i looked at him dead and i said oh so you're a scalper and he he'd never heard the term before like in, in that context and i was like no you're a scalper you're 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 selling you're, you're, you're selling figs that people want for way more than what you paid for them. You're a scalper. So now I'm in a weird place, right? It's like, I hate scalpers. It's like, especially when it's like stuff I actually want. I looked at old boy's cart and I was like, eh, ain't nothing in there I really want anyway. So <laughs> but, and I, was like, I was like, yeah, yeah. A uh, uh, part of me wanted to be like, "Yo, you got any GI Joes, homie?" But, <laughs> but I was, part of me is like, I'm in a weird place because I really, I hate scalpers, and I really want to do something that's not safe to talk about on YouTube to this guy. But, <laughs> but at the same time, he's homeless, and he could be packing because you know, it's the city, it's downtown. <laughs> 
and I don't have my bulletproof vest. Had me walking. I ain't walking around the store looking like freaking Snake Eyes from GI Joe, man. I, I, you know, what I'm saying I'm not built like I don't have them. I don't have a Wolverine skeleton, man. I ain't got a healing factor. So old boy pulls out, man, and starts unloading. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> my Sonic shoes ain't that fast. And I was like, I don't have my nunchucks, and I don't have my bear mace. So I'm like, damn, I'm unarmed for this situation. So I was like, ah, it let's. It just it, it just put me in a weird place. It was like this this video was going to be something totally different, and then like that encounter, like just just destroyed me for like a minute. <laughs> I remember, I remember just hopping in my car, just angry and saddened and i don't uh, just a bunch of other emotions and i just I, I hopped in my car i went back to the restaurant where my wife was and i sat at the bar and i just started drinking because i was just like you know on one hand i can't knock the dude's hustle he homeless on the other hand he's a effing scalper man oh man it, it it put me in an odd place it, 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 just, it just put me in a really odd place so yeah it, i was in i was in a, a dilemma mode on how i should react to that situation but it, like i said this video is going to be totally different this is going to be a happier video and then that happened and i was just like oh screw this <laughs> i'm going in but a quick little button to this story, a little tag at the end. So as I'm walking around, I see old boy trying to make his way down to the uh, clearance aisle. And I happen to, I, for some reason, I just said, screw it. I'm going in. I'm going fast for it. Fast and furious. I ran to the clearance aisle, try to get there for him. And look what I ran into. Now, I already have this figure. And I already paid $20 for him. But I saw him in this Walmart. And I got him again. So to that dude, I would say if he was to listen to this ever in life, uh, I was to do with the red shoes and fuck you. In other news, I have to uh, make a correction. Uh, I in my previous video, I was talking about the uh, the RC turns out. OK, I was wrong. It wasn't Big Firebird that made this. This is a bootleg of that figure that is sold by a company called cdl so yeah i just wanted to get that correction out there because yeah still it looks good it looks better than nice so still i'm still sticking with the take my money just take my money bootleg because I, I i do have in my collection i had to look at my collection i do have third party third party <laughs> <laughs> so like i have unique toys i have their peru kill but before i got peru kill i have the visual toys i think it's the vt01 their their version of lockdown so i have them in there so i, I don't feel too bad about that but i just want to get that correction out there but with that said please feel free like share comment subscribe and uh yeah with that be safe, be good, and this is the Drunken Prime cracking open another beer and signing off.